And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed your Tuesday. It's been an outstanding day. A little on the cool side, but yeah, Mother Nature, pretty fickle. Your mood swings, and she's fixing to have a doozy, too. Right now, you're looking at our quality outdoor sky cam in Cushata, Louisiana, the setting sun. And there are some darker clouds way down on the horizon. That's where our rainfall is right now. And let me show you, uh, Texarkana, you're just about into some rainfall there. As this moves on across, patchy, very light rain. Very light rain down in the far southern parts of the Arkansas, Texas as well. Nothing really big going on with this. Winds are not impressive. I'm glad <laughs> they will be as we get into tomorrow. We're going to have very, very gusty southeast and south southeast winds by tomorrow today they're out of the northeast at about seven miles an hour in shreveport only three in texarkana 11 though over in the longview area just outside the architects and your robin's toyota future cast spells out the next several days some showers today clear skies overnight whatever clouds we have even in texarkana we will get rid of them so we wake up to plenty of sunshine tomorrow morning as we go through the day, though, the clouds are back and about 7 p.m. Wednesday. We start to see a little activity moving into the northwestern parts of the Arklatex, north of the I-30 corridor. Then right after that, it intensifies just a bit and spreads a little farther, but doesn't make any southeastern progress. And take a look at those strong south winds. Southwest Arkansas clipping northwest Louisiana and east and northeast Texas will have some rain and maybe some rumbles. As we head into the 5 o'clock hour, we will still see rain and possible thunderstorms, but as we go towards 7 p.m., things start to ignite just a bit and intensity levels. Take a look at this now down to the southwest. Very intense thunderstorms and even in the Arklatex as it goes out of the area. Look at these gusty north northwest winds coming into the area. Showers do linger a bit, but they try to move out. But another little area of showers on Friday at noon and cloudy skies but those skies will clear as we go into the weekend unfortunately on saturday we will have a clear sky and much colder temperatures there's our severe risk for all the architects but look at this going all the way down past san antonio this is going to be a broad area we're on the completely eastern side of it or northeastern part of it not that that'll make a big difference and also, almost all the Arklatex is under a risk of heavy rain. So let's look at totals possible. We could have an inch and a half to two inches plus rain anywhere in the Arklatex. So be ready for that and be prepared. Here is the seven-day forecast, and we're looking for 37 degrees on the average. It'll be a little colder, middle 30s as we go into the northern parts of the Arklatex, maybe even some low 30s, far north, 68. A big rise in temperatures and afternoon highs. 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some could be strong to severe. That will be 100% chance of rain and storms overnight, winding up with some more rain on your Friday. And a 20 degree drop in temperatures. 35 with possible frost in the northern parts of the Arklatex along I-30. Yeah, and look at Saturday. We're gonna be either side of freezing. So frost or freeze warnings will be likely. The further north, a freeze is possible for the I-30 corridor. As we go into your Monday and Tuesday, rain's back in the picture with 50s and finally 60s by Tuesday. Keep it here, we're coming right back.